My Lord, Brother Anthony. Brother Billy, you know, we've been talking about leadership. Well, well actually, we haven't been talking. I, I sort of been pontificating, and you, uh, you know, pontificating is one of the big words uh, that I learned in university. I actually didn't learn that. I, I really don't really know what it means. I just use it, but it sounds good. You know, make me look good. Anyway, we're, we're talking about leadership. And, uh, and I was thinking, reviewing my own uh, history of leadership, because I was trained as a leader as a very young, you know, in what's called the New York City Mission Society Cadet Corps. It's like a military, paramilitary kind of organization, you know, young people grow up in. And uh, so I learned from, from nine years old to 19, I was in this organization in that period. Like, for instance, I'll show you. When I was uh, uh, in high school, I was the co-founder of the Afro-American Club. You know, these are, well, to tell you the truth, we all had really nice Afros, you know, hairstyles, you know, mm -hmm. like that. And I was not, maybe they didn't let me be the, well, I was co-founder because I was one of the leaders, you know what I mean? And then also at some particular point, I remember I was, uh, 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 when I was in the Air Force, for instance, uh, we started a thing called a Black Caucus. Ooh, there was some, there was some stuff there. They were afraid of us, the Black Caucus. As well, they should have been, because we were, oof, I'm going to show you what I mean. Now, we were on the Air Force Base, and right next door was Fort Dix, the big army thing with the recruitment and everything like that. And we started the, 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 the Black Caucus on the Air Force Base, which had a lot of different military uh, branches there. And they were so afraid of us that they sent this army general to an Air Force Base to talk to us. Now, you have to understand that we're Air Force, and the, our high, the highest ranking guy that we had was, was Colonel Stanton, who was like the, the SP, the Special Police at the time. And actually, his, his daughter was going out with one of, one of the cats that was in the lab, and I was a lab technician, but we won't get into that. But anyway, so they were so afraid they had to send something, they, they figured they would impress us by sending an Army general, you know. And we looked at this guy, and we talked to him. We talked to him so, so, so rapidly, so, so, I mean, we, we put him so much in this place that he was huffing and puffing out there. And he turned, actually, when he was going out the door, he turned to me. He said, he got in my face. He said, you will never bring down this country. I'll see you in prison before. Ooh. And he walked, huffed on out. And we going like, whoa, what's the matter with this dude? General, we saw just like that. Now, another time, then it was a leader, if you want to say, is when I was in college, you know, the first time, undergraduate college, and there was a big to-do, you know, like, like here, and, and the students, we stormed the, 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 the meeting of the, I guess it was the board of trustees and the, and the faculty, whatever have you, because we wanted some, whatever we wanted, and, uh, and they, you know, they wasn't having it, but anyway, there was this guy, big, you know, professor talking at the time, had the podium, and, you know, I, I led a bunch of students in there, and, uh, I, and, and, and the students were probably rallying, they was getting all huffy and puffy. And I said to the, I said to the, to the guy, you know, because it was disorder, and I said, I yelled out, let, because the guy was trying to talk. And I said, no, I can't use the word I would use. Let's say it's one of them Samuel L. Jackson words, you know what I mean? I said, we stormed it in. I said, let the reactionary mother <clears throat> speak. <laughs> oh, everybody was stunned, you know, the students, Stunned. The guy was stunned, you know, and and and, and he went on shakily made his point, whatever it was. Later on, much later, I found out that he thought I was like a big black guy. And I was a little, I was a little guy at that time. I mean, I was a little slim down. I know they say a little, a little weight, but but I was slim. I was, you know, I was a little, a little guy, you know, five eight, whatever it is. But that's to show you the perception of people who lead. Leaders got to be a big thing. But here's what I actually learned about leadership. Much later in life, as being a theater director, directing theater and whatever have you, because I was directing a show in India one time, and an old time actor, you know, a guy, new, new, Orville, new around, he said to me, You know why I like you? Because you obey. Now, normally you would think that's a curious thing to say for somebody that was directing a whole you know, cast of 22 people, young, old, or whatever have you, but I got it right away. Here's the thing. Let's say the, 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 the kings and the queens, right? They had they had the thing, they had the thing with kings and queens, but they would have a, 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 what we call a jester, a court jester. He could say anything because the king had to have somebody that he would listen to because he couldn't listen to nobody. 
It's the same thing with, with, with African cultures. You know, you have the, 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 the what do you call them, the, you know, the medicine guy, the witch doctor, whatever you all call him. You know what I mean? He can say stuff to the, to, the, to the chief that other people can't say. You see? So he always has somebody he can listen to. He obeys. If you want to go to what I call the, the, the macrobiotic level, you do realize our bodies are made up of 70% water a year, but we are made up a lot of, me of, of macrobiotic little you know, bugs and germs. And they really rule. We actually are following those little germy things. I know you don't believe that, but I'm, I'm, I'm just saying it sounds a little, it sounds like a little audio drama to you, and I understand it's still audio drama to a lot of people, but I'm just telling you the fact that you don't have to believe me because you don't have to believe anything that this patch, this dispatch that I'm talking about tells you because it's, it's merely a dispatch from the Arch Director Emeritus, uh, and that would be me, T, from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what, what I only suspect. Yeah.